Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today, like I already did some of these videos, I want to show to you guys my tactics and how basically to do it safely, a cast mission in ground RB, okay? How to actually do cast in top tier ground RB without dying for the AA systems. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. I'm going to first show the, the theory over here and then some examples in real battles, okay? So the first thing that you have to notice, it doesn't matter the aircraft, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, uh, but the most safe, the safest way to do this is basically climbing, side climbing to at least six, 7,000 meters, something like that, at least like five, you know? We are going to use mostly uh, NATO aircraft here just to avoid uh, using an aircraft that will be in the same tech tree as the Panzer, right? Because the Panzer is the most, uh, you know, the best AA system in the game. And basically you need to side climb. Imagine that that medium tank over there is the AO of the map. It's the area of operations, right? It's the battlefield. You will side climb and basically do this. Fly perpendicular to it. The second thing that you need to do is go to your controls. You will go to uh, lock guided bombs, as you see right here, and site stabilization, and you will add the space in my case, but you can add any button that you want. And with that, you will basically help the memory of the aircraft to know where the AO is for you to be easy, to re just basically be as fast as possible to deploy the weapon. So click C, for example. And in my case, I chose the space for the site stabilization. So I will click site stabilization until it's kind of close to the AO, kind of close to the battlefield, okay? Once you have that, you can fly a little bit closer to the target. Don't choose the camera right now. When you stabilize it like this, you choose the camera, turn your thermos on, find the target that you want, you know, and then lock it, if you will. And then you will drop the bomb. So select the bomb that you want. Of course, these buttons are normally, you know, each person will use some of these bombs. But for example, me, I use the secondary uh, weapon. So out for secondary switch. And then basically to fire the secondary, I use uh, a mouse button 5, which is a button in my mouse, right? So uh, basically with this, you are locked with the vehicle, but things might change. Until you drop the bomb, you basically can just look right into the target. And here you have something interesting, right? Um, you can use CCRP, for example, to drop the bombs when the line goes to the circle there with a guided bomb. Or you can use a missile to just uh, fire the missile, point to the target and fire the missile. And then with this, you can even turn, you can, you know, you can like turn whatever you want over here. Turn away, I don't care. Just be aware of the gimbal limits of that. And then you will basically follow the target if it needs you. You will basically just maintain the laser lock right there. This is for laser guided stuff, correct? For TV guided stuff, obviously it's more, it's a little bit easier. You just point to the target, lock it, drop it in the correct way. And then you just get out, try to reapproach coming from another direction. You can accelerate out of there again, gain some speed if you will. And while you were doing this, you can find another target. So, for example, here um, I find it the battlefield right there, kind of where it is. I can point to the side over here to be very hard to actually for an AA system to lock me or shoot me. I find a target, lock it up, and then I go directly over it. I make sure that the bomb is dropped. I'm too close over here. And too high, but I, I make sure that the bomb is dropped correctly that right there. And then I put the power down, start climbing again, and then I choose the camera over here. You can even, like, as I said, turn away from the target. You need, don't need to actually fly over it. But as you see, you are just maintaining the proper lock over there. If you lose the lock, you can click the lock button again, or just maintain the laser designator until the bomb is actually dropped. And this is basically the theory. It's a very easy one. And if you do this, you will basically get a lot of kills. In a very fast way, you can even do this, for example. Choose the the DAO, kind of, where the targets are. Just point the aircraft to the target, kind of where they are. 
you drop the bomb and then you control the bomb you know you can do always do this of course be aware of the way that the bombs work and stuff they have an fov and stuff and they have a limit of their turning so you kind of need to like have that in mind but it is very easy and it is just the way that i normally use this so you can do this with missiles if it was a missile you just point to the target and fire and then you get away if it's uh tv guided the same laser guided bombs it's, it's a little bit harder but still just because you have to maintain the lock over here right so let's get to some battles to show to you guys how i do it so here we are guys this is going to be the same as i did on that so first of all side climb as always and i will try to find a target moving my designator there with the space right so right kind of where the targets are you can turn it on the the thermals just to take a look why you climb i see some targets over here for example that are firing on them i can even fire a bomb already but i will climb a little bit uh so let's just do kind of a diagonal flight path over here and now i can actually find targets as you see i see a lot of them over there so i would just go straight in and try to find where the targets are kind of Drop the bomb. Yeah, you see some AA systems already are firing on me. And then I can just maintain the laser lock on some of these targets. Okay, so for example here. Let me maintain on these ones. Um, I think they're pretty alright. I hope the bomb is going there. So, <laughs> Come on, where is the bomb? There's another one there. Come on, come on, come on. My god, where is this bomb? Ah, Q assist! Come on, Q assist! So, yeah, you understand what am I doing here, right? The same thing goes, I mean, everybody's dying over there, so that's the problem with guided bombs, right? It takes a little bit of time to actually get a kill. Let's try to find this AA system that was firing on me. So, here is the spawn, right? There. See? We have some AA systems over there. And I think he's firing on me, actually. Let me just drop the bomb over here really quickly. And then I turn away. And now I just have to maintain the lock. Right there. There. It's uh, Flak Panzer, I think. He doesn't know that the missile is coming for him. I dropped some chaff. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Somebody killed him before I could be, was able to actually kill him. Let's see if the bomb is actually guiding. Yeah, he got him. So, yeah, as you see, a punter. Very easy to kill, actually. If you know what you're doing, uh, I'm safe from all of these missiles. Um, the match right now is kind of crazy because of the amount of players killing each other. Uh, but... It's very, very easy to just stay alive, fly very far away. Let me try to find that to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, there is a target over there. There are some tanks over here, for example. So let's drop right in the middle of there. Bomb is on the way. Let's continue our path over here. Let's see if the bomb is actually guiding. It's not guiding yet, as you see. Yeah, now it starts to guide. It takes a little bit of time, it has kind of an FOV, so you have to just be careful. I like to use this system over here that you can actually change it. You need to change targets quickly if the target is dead before your bombs get to the targets, right? So it's something that you need to be careful. And yeah, another kill. So you just keep doing this and you will be safe. It's a very, very easy way to get an enormous amount of kills with gas. I mean... There are aircraft that will suffer a little bit um, on the sense of just the way that everything is right with the speed and stuff. So depending on some factors, an AA system again, let's try to kill this. Ah, it got me. Yeah, the Panzer, right? Yeah, it's the only AA system that can actually get you. So, and I was kind of too aggressive. I was actually flying right directly above the target. So just be careful you need to not do this you need to fly away especially if there is this amount of aa systems okay 
In this match, there was like, I don't know, five of them. So, Jesus Christ. Here we have another example, guys. We are flying again on the Mirage 1000 here with two laser guided weaponry. And you, we're going to do basically the same, especially because we are against Russians. And it, as you saw, the Panzer will be your main enemy over here as well as other aircraft, okay? This is a much better system, uh, thermal-wise and stuff, uh, compared to the... Um, to the other, um, to the F-14, right? But still, so I, you can see the, the general, you know, um, the general uh, resolution of the camera is amazing, man, on this thing. So yeah, there they're, they're shooting at somebody there. Let's see if we can find somebody that it's actually in the middle there. Yeah, let's fire this. We are going to use the laser guided. You just click once to fire. And then again. And then we're going to do the same as we did. Oh, the missile is destroyed. Uh, the target was destroyed. So we changed the target for that one. Hopefully he doesn't hide under the house over there. Where is the missile? Where is the missile? And yeah, another one destroyed. So as you see, it's very, very easy. And I'm flying very low here. It's kind of even, like, uh, dangerous to be this close. Especially with a missile like the S-30. And even the bomb, laser-guided bombs, as further away as you can, uh, being the drop, it is going to make you the safe as possible. As safe as possible, right? So let's try again. Let's find another target over here. Okay, 50. We have a tank over there. Let's try to shoot at him. The AGMs are a little bit easier to to actually uh, fire because they have a lot more range. So you can just basically, you know, be a little bit safer. You just fly away and just continue to laze the target. It's pretty easy. That guy is going to die. Where's the missile? Where's the missile? And yeah, another one. So with laser guided uh, missiles, you can basically do the same from a further distance a little bit. And TV guided stuff will be the same, okay? TV guided stuff, normally you can fire from further away a little bit, not by much, just because normally they have uh, the missiles, the Mavericks, the KH-29s, they have a more more energy ballistically, right? So yeah, let's do this with the missile, the bombs that we have. There isn't too much to actually destroy uh, in the match, I don't think. I think the match is kind of over already. Yeah, it's kind of over. We're going to try, but I don't think we're going to kill any anything else over here. Unless there is something camping in other sites. There isn't. What is that? It's a burning tank. I don't know if that's alive or not. Let's just drop a bomb on it. Like, why not? Same thing. Drop the bomb. Keep flying away, keep flying away. Yeah, it's it's a nozzelot. Click space again to have the circle vision, then you can actually not just be standing still with the aiming reticle. So it helps a little bit. And the bomb is going to destroy the target. Another one destroyed. See how safe you are? Basically, if the only way that you can die, I mean, I'm being very aggressive over here. If you have a little bit of patience, just stay a little bit away. Stay like 12 kilometers, something like that. And you can still destroy the targets. And it's the most effective way without dying, right? It really, it really, really is. I think the match is already over, as I said. There is a MiG-29 flying around. I didn't bring my magics. Which is a problem. <laughs> but, yeah. That is dead already. Everything is dead. But yeah, guys, basically this is it. This is the way that I do CAS. I think it's the most effective way. You keep it safe. You can do this with any aircraft. Of course, an aircraft such as the A-10, the Su-25T. Aircraft like that will have a little bit of a trouble climbing and stuff. But have patience. Stay away. And only get to the battlefield once you are actually... Uh, once you have a, an idea uh, of where the targets are. If there is any AA systems. Especially if you have a thermal or anything like that. Just be careful with that, okay, guys? But yeah, guys, basically this is it. Nothing else is there for me to kill, I don't think. This is that bright. Yeah.
No, there's a punch here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Stop. Let's see if he... Oh, it's not going to get in time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and bye, guys. Hopefully, it was helpful.